So it was about a year ago that I had the opportunity to tell you about the latest game we were working on in Zipper Interactive. That game is MAG, a new first-person shooter that pits 256 players against each other on the field of battle. Well, here we are. It's a year later, and I'm pleased to be here again, this time with eight other members of the Zipper team. Not just to talk about MAG, but to show you a live 256-player MAG battle. So now, before we start, I want to remind you that every action you're about to see or hear, from the distant chatter of a machine gun being fired by a developer in Seattle, to an airstrike called in by a tester in San Diego, has been triggered by a real player. Now, the battle you're about to watch is a Raven assault on a Sever fuel depot. CJ Heine, MAG's lead level designer, is acting as our squad leader today. Now, if we take a look at CJ's command network interface, you can get a feel of the scale of this battle. CJ's squad of eight, along with other three squads in his platoon, must punch through a line of enemy bunkers, secure a forward landing zone, and push forward to the heart of the enemy facility. Now, if we pull back just a bit, you can see that his squad isn't alone. His platoon is one of four that make up the Raven Company assaulting this base. Now, each blue dot you see is a live player participating in the battle right now. But remember that for each blue dot you see, there's also a red enemy, most of whom are currently undetected. So to start his assault, CJ is going to use one of his squad leader command abilities to call in a recon UAV to scout out those enemy locations. Now, unfortunately, the enemy has an anti-aircraft battery that's up and running, and it's going to shoot down his airstrike as it comes in. So he's going to have to go in with a little bit less information than he hoped and go from there. So these are all the squad members we see on screen that are up here on the stage today. They're going to move out. Siege is going to assign the first objective to his team, which is to assault destroy a bunker. bunker. This bunker serves as a forward spawn for the enemy. So if they can destroy it, they'll manage to put the defenders back farther into the heart of the base. So there's the bunker in front of us. Now as we assault, we're going to switch over and take a look at uh, the platoon leader perspective for Ben Jones. Now these bunkers are very challenging targets. They have to go in, plant a charge at the base of it. They can attack the turret on top from distance, but if they have to get in close to plant the charge and defend that charge for a period of time while the defenders try to defuse it. There you can see now, as the actions he's taking, because this objective has been assigned to the squad, he's gonna get bonus points for every action he takes. So now that they've managed to destroy that bunker, it's gonna push all the defenders back farther into the heart of the base. His team's gonna move up, plan charges once again on that anti-aircraft battery that was causing him so much trouble earlier, and defend that. Now, taking care of this will do a couple of things, give a couple of advantages to his team. First and foremost, it will allow the commanders to call in airstrikes as they battle, but it's also gonna secure this as a forward spawn point for his team, which we'll see in a moment here. You can hear that air raid siren lets everybody in the battle, no matter which platoon they're in, know that the uh, attackers in this area have secured that forward spawn. And now we have helicopters coming in, which serve as the forward deployment point for his team. So if anybody in his squad dies from this point forward, they will respawn those helicopters and be able to push forward. And they're also very powerful at securing this landing zone. They're all equipped with mini guns, once again, all commanded by real players. Now that they've managed to secure this forward landing zone, CJ is going to use another one of his command abilities. He tried to call on a UAV earlier, but now he's going to use uh, an airstrike. He's going to call on a cluster bomb to clear the enemy off this wall and secure the point so his team can push forward and hit the heart of this facility. So obviously devastating strike, it's cleared the enemy off of this position. Now his team has a few moments before the enemies respawn, secure that wall again. So they're gonna push in and set a foothold to push into the heart of the base where they'll link up with all four platoons for the final assault on this objective. Now I do hope you're all were taking notes because we're gonna have this game running live on the show floor for the next three days with full 256 players 
Come down there, pick up a control, and join the battle. I look forward to it. Thank you so much.